Hello, welcome to the Line Check Podcast. It's me, once again, Brandon Villarreal, and I'm here again. <laughs> <laughs> and today I have another special guest, like usual. Um, this time it's uh, Cold Hearted, a.k.a. Meg Miller, or Megan that Miller. That's me, yeah. Hi, Meg is good. Good. Great. Good. Thanks how's for having your, me. How's your day? Chill What did you once? do today? Yeah. Rested for once. That's yeah, good. I had no pop-ups this weekend for once, so mm-hmm. I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> tell me about your day. I heard it was interesting. I want. I think my day today. Yeah, tell me about your day today. <laughs> all, right, all I did was rest and then come here, yeah. have a drink with you over at Bamboo. Nice. We're walking in. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go eat though? Oh, that was yesterday. Oh, yesterday. yesterday. Oh, well, my yes. my time. Yesterday, my I went to WeHo yesterday. Up. Went to Connie and Ted's. Went to a. Um, interesting weed bar cool. accidentally got really high there and connie and ted's was really good connie and ted's is delicious yeah, it was awesome oysters lobster roll chowder mm-hmm. yep. yeah yeah um, i went there a really long time ago um chef melissa used to work there yeah mm-hmm. and so we just got like hooked up yeah like with all the oysters the entire happy air menu and then we went to rest at canyon right after that oh and my we're like God. wow we I did like a bang though. bang That's and so i was fun. Just, like wow I'm so full, but like I'm so hungry at the yeah. same time. Yeah, I know because you want to eat everything, taste everything, yeah. but there's just so much to try. Well, today we have a little chimer in, uh, little Zarek, our expertise <laughs> on the camera and the Yay. editing and all that and sound. Uh, he's gonna be joining us on the mic in the background, and he works at Ambitious L's, and he's been supplying us with all the goods. So I knew this was Meg's favorite <laughs> beer at ambitious so we're yeah. drinking uh the berry shower which is a sour beer yes um i used to really love sours and now i can't really drink them i already said this before yeah but with it's, me uh, just my one. my acid reflux is uh it's really bad yeah this is my favorite um whenever i go to ambitious i look at the menu yeah as if i'm gonna order something else and i do sometimes but they're always like, Meg, it's fine. You can order berry shower. <laughs> like, we get it. You know, you like it. I'm trying to it's think of so what this, like, reminds me of. Um, well, that's vanilla. Yeah. I don't know. It reminds me of, like, a so candy, easy. though, or, like, a, like like a sor- raspberry, raspberry sorbet. Yeah, raspberry sorbet. But yeah, because there's raspberries It's raspberry it. and yeah. vanilla, yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah. So let's, I, see, let's see how my body reacts after I drink. I drink a my lot of these at? at my first pop up mm-hmm. there, and I didn't realize how strong they were. They're yeah, seven percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, okay. Zarek, what's your favorite beer? Yeah, ambitious. Mm-hmm. Barry Shar, John Saison, or Central Perk. Cool. Mm-hmm. I really like their new uh, Japanese lager. I like the Hartwell. I want that to come back. Dunzo. Dunzo, no. <laughs> right so, um, not a lot of people know you, but also a lot of people know you at the same time. Okay, yeah, um, I feel like that's cold true. Cold-hearted. How did? First of all, tell us, tell the audience that don't know you what cold-hearted. Okay. Your yeah. pop-up is. So cold-hearted is a gelato pop-up, mainly in Long Beach, but kind of uh, has sprinkled into OC and LA. Yeah. Um, I also have started opening like freezers at coffee shops and um which yeah. coffee shops so i have a freezer at um a coffee shop called good time mm-hmm. and they do scoops and pints they make affogados and whatnot and then i just stocked this past weekend um a new market at anna's joint called anna's market mm-hmm. which is next door congratulations so, yeah 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 working on like expanding that mm-hmm. while still doing pop-ups yeah wow mm-hmm. awesome what flavors are like the bangers yeah i feel like so i started off with three flavors Mm -hmm. and i've changed it like constantly just because like i get bored and i want people to experience other things but um some of the favorites was just the ones from the beginning were chata crunch it's like vegan made Mm -hmm. with rice milk oat milk um with candied quinoa like a almost like a cereal yeah yeah people love that that one was really good and i I took it away for a while because that's the only thing people would order and i'm like i want you to try something new so i took it away and actually just brought it back but i put it into pints so people can get pints of it now yeah i remember um when you like i don't know if it was you first first started or like i just found out about you and i ordered like your ube 
gelato. Yeah. And I that one was so flavors. good. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to be doing that again this week because I have a friend who pops up. Um, her name's Steffi. And she orders, she does a lot of uh, Filipino events. And cool. she orders gelatos for me. So lots of ube still just yeah. selling on her end. She sells them with her beignets. Um, so, yeah. That's awesome. Still doing a lot of ube. So, like, how did you get started into doing this pop-up in the first place? Like, yeah. you obviously worked in <laughs> kitchens before. Yeah. I worked in fine dining for a long time. And... When pandemic happened, I was actually working for a small business mm -hmm. uh, cafe and they ended up closing. And so pastry chefs were kind of like luxury at the mm -hmm. time. Like nobody was hiring pastry. So I went to Savory, was working in Savory, still working in LA, hated the drive. Um, as Hamburgers Nice mentioned, we randomly met outside of a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Like we just started chatting. I think I was wearing my let's, Birkenstocks. Let's let's further into that yeah, story. Yeah, he loves this yeah, story. I'm surprised tell he didn't tell, tell it the to, whole thing. Tell it, tell um, the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so I actually live in San Pedro. I'm from Long Beach area, but I've lived in San Pedro for the past six years. Mm -hmm. And I was picking up coffee and breakfast burritos at Colossus and Chori Man in San Pedro. And so good. it was, yeah, oh my gosh, it's great, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going there, walking up, and there's only one other guy outside, but they're like slammed mm -hmm. with like online orders. And so I'm just standing out there waiting, and you could just hear the tickets coming in. And like as someone who's worked in kitchens for a long time, like hearing those tickets, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like I want to jump in, I want to help him. Yeah. And I could tell this other person outside also felt the same way. So we're like looking at each other. Mm -hmm. We start chatting. We're both masked. Um, and it was Hyro. And we started <laughs> talking, getting to know each other. I remember he took off his mask and he goes, this is my face. It's Hi. my mustache. Yeah, he had a mustache. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, hey. Um, anyways, turns out I used to work with his cousin for years. Wow. Back at um, when I worked at the Arthur J. And then we have a bunch of mutual friends that I've like worked with in other restaurants mm -hmm. that he's met. So we just became Instagram friends. And he hit me up one day to kind of help him do desserts for Hamburgers Nice. And, you know, I ended up taking another job and like time mm -hmm. had passed in between. But um, long story short, I was like, OK, let's have a meeting. Yeah, we had a meeting. We took a long walk um, by Rose Park. Yeah. And I told him I want to do ice cream mm -hmm. because if we're going to do like some kind of dessert together, I don't want it to be something heavy after yeah. you have a burger, you yeah. know? So I like ice cream. I'm not, I don't have a huge sweet tooth. So like, you know, I feel like everyone always has a second stomach for ice yeah. cream, right? Yeah. You eat something, but you could always go for ice cream You want cream something after. cold. That's how yeah, I am. I'm always exactly. like, I'm like, I'm super full, but, but I just need to like, it, I just right? need to eat a little like spoon yeah. of like some, like something cold, exactly. like melts in my mouth. So he loved the idea, yeah. right? And then like a few days went by and I was like, why don't I do this under my own name? Mm -hmm. I've been working for people for how long? You know, mm -hmm. like 10 years in kitchens. So I like told him that and I was like, hey, what if I do it, but do it under my own brand? And he's like, yeah, let's do it. You know, join on to me for the summer. Um, and then two weeks later, I started the pop-up. Wow. It was like a whirlwind. I had no clue what I was doing. Yeah. The pop-up scene is a whole different game than working <laughs> in kitchens. And you can do whatever you want. I didn't have... <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't have anyone to look. There's so many burger pop-ups, right? Mm -hmm. You can kind of like look around and see what other yeah. people are doing and do your own thing. But at the time, there was no, no there other was, ice cream pop-ups. Yeah, I don't. It's really hard to find like a dessert pop-up yeah. or like anything like that. I didn't even think about like transporting with dry ice. I just remember like the couple days before being like, "Oh, oh I shit. need to figure that out." <laughs> how am I gonna keep? How am I gonna keep this gelato I cold? I was on a road <laughs> trip and I was just like ordering stuff yeah. from the road. And when I came back, like putting things together, yeah. I just was like laughing, like, "Am I really going to do this? <laughs> I guess I am." And the plan was only to do it for two months, and then go back to kitchens. Yeah. But it kind of took off, so and I had fun with it. Wow. So just kept going. That's yeah. amazing. I know, right? So why did you decide not to like go back into kitchens after starting this? I actually did go back to kitchens mm -hmm. for like a small stint because I didn't know what to do during winter. Yeah. Um, but I want to just work for myself and work for my friends, mm -hmm. you know? I'm tired of commuting all the way to LA yeah. every day, you know? I was working in Hollywood. Um, 
some of the chefs I've worked for are great, but some just like very old school mentality. Mm-hmm. Um, doing the same things every day. Yeah, it's like, repetitive. Plating the tiny <laughs> little things on the plate every day. Like I'm not learning anything. I'm not growing. I'm just like a machine yeah. at this point. You yeah. Know? So and you did work at a Michelin star restaurant. I did work at a Michelin oh. star restaurant. Yeah. And it was not like, <laughs> it was cool. Like yeah. I thought I really wanted to be there. Right. Like I thought like, this is what the goal is. People want to work at places yeah. like this. And yeah, working at a two Michelin star place was just not my vibe. Yeah. But you know, I think, in. yeah, we all, we all learn yeah. from our, you know, and then we figure out what we want to do from there. Exactly. Um, yeah. Working under like a multitude of chefs, you kind of like pick and choose like, okay, I like what this chef did mm-hmm. and I like what that chef did. And I didn't like what that mm-hmm. chef did. And I definitely don't like what that chef did. Exactly. And then you kind of like piece things together and then it kind of molds you into like the yeah. person that you are in the kitchen, which yeah. is. You know, I, I find that really nice and yeah. humbling sometimes. And the cool chefs that I have worked for, like, they've been super supportive mm-hmm. of the pop-up. Like, some of them have offered me jobs, and I told them that I'm going to keep going to the pop-up, and they're like, yeah, I know you should. Yeah. Like, that's great. And I'm like, thank you. Like, yeah. I appreciate the support. They come to the pop-ups. Wonderful. It, like, means a lot. Yeah. yeah. No, it is always to, when a chef or people from your kitchen that used to work with come and support you yeah, at your pop-ups. Amazing feels like uh you really made like an impact on their life yeah and then they want to like give it back to you you know um so what would you say would be like the pros and cons of having this like little small gelato business i feel like there's so many pros but the cons are you know it's not a clock in clock Mm -hmm. out type of thing yeah I feel like I'm on the clock 24 Mm seven, like constantly thinking about flavors, answering DMs, taking catering orders, like run the Instagram, Mm -hmm. like, you know, answer people about pop-ups, scheduling stuff, um, making the gelato, which is like, yeah, prepping it. I know. Like (laughs) that is like part of it, but it's not the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like there's so much more to it. So I feel like the cons, like the cons are just like, it's constant, you know, like, you have to actively take days off. Yeah. Shut your mind down, which is really hard. Yeah. Um, also, like, I do this alone. Mm-hmm. So I don't have people, like, at my disposal to, like, bounce ideas mm-hmm. off of. Except for, like, I'll come to you. Mm-hmm. I'll come to our friends, our chef friends, and I'll be like, what do you think of this, you know? And I'll get feedback, which is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, my friends have really been, like, my support system. Like, Everyone who's, you know, tried to help me push my cart, even Mm -hmm. Chloe over there, (laughs) Uh, when the wheels are falling off sometimes, you know, just got new wheels, but, um, but the pros are just, you're your own boss. You have open creativity. Like no one's going to tell you like, oh, that's not going to work or you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Like I can make any flavor I want, sell it and see what happens, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's cool because, uh, what Hiro is saying um before on the podcast was uh what influenced him to like start his own pop-ups is like very like punk rock like Mm -hmm. you have control of the outcome of everything you can do whatever you want and no one's gonna be like hey you can't do that or you can't do this it's like no you know what i'm not gonna do this today and i'm gonna do this instead it might be might not sell a lot it might sell out you know it's just like i think another thing is like you can't just think that you can start something and it's going to take off and be amazing and yeah. make money and you're good. Yeah. Like, I feel like as much money as I make, I put back into the business to like make it better. Yeah. And yeah, no, Hiro and I, we talk, cause I also work for hamburgers. Nice. So mm-hmm. we talk constantly about how to improve the pop-ups, how to like, just our minds work very similarly mm-hmm. where we just can relate on a lot of things because we've been on this journey together for like two years now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> two years. Wow. Yeah. I mean, where, where have I been? Cold Hearted <laughs> will be two years old in August. And then I've been working with my him. birthday month. Yeah. Leo Caesar. Get a pop up for my birthday. Yeah. We'll do a <laughs> anniversary party <laughs> themed with all the Leos in my life. <laughs> um, yeah. I just really love how. Um, like the different flavors you've done have really like been really eye popping and like I've heard like other chefs be like whoa I wonder what that tastes like or yeah. whoa what is that like yeah. I feel like what, what, what 
tell the audience like your I feel like I do a mix of high and low, right? <laughs> like I work. We in... want all the highs. I want to know all the highs. <laughs> no, like I mean, like uh, high and low, like uh, fancy and oh, yeah, not yeah, fancy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I've done yeah. pickle flavor, which I, I did was, as a joke. That's what I was referring I to. I did as a joke, and the first time I did it was in LA, and people didn't receive it super well. Mm-hmm. They were just like, okay, yeah, whatever. And then I did it in Long Beach, and it sold out, like, immediately. People were fighting over the mm. last one. I yeah. did it in a push pop point. Yeah. People were like, I'll pay double for the last one. I'm like, <laughs> guys, I can make more. <laughs> Please don't fight, yeah. you know? People really love their pickles over here. It's because, like, you know, all the dive bars have, like, pickles. Yeah. And I feel like it, like, hits people's, like, heart. and like, oh, my God, a, yeah. like, pickle gelato, like, push it, pop. Yeah, I didn't make it, like, super sour. It's more, yeah. like, refreshing, mm-hmm. cucumber, you know. Yeah, like but, a, a um, yeah, I've done that. I've done a fernet flavor for all the people who love fernet, mm. fernet mint chip. Um, but bringing it back to one of the first flavors, grilled peach and pepper. People mm-hmm. still love that. I don't know. I've done so many. Summer's coming. Long Beach Peaches. Garden was really fun. Mm-hmm. Someone gave me something from their garden, and then people just kept giving me stuff, and mm-hmm. it turned into this flavor of people contributing, <laughs> and it was awesome. It's yeah. like lime leaves and lemongrass. And wow. Any flavor is possible. That's true. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite flavor from somebody else? From someone else. Or like, do you have a favorite ice cream maker? So my, f- my favorite thing ever is soft serve. Mm-hmm. Like I love soft serve just like from anywhere it's yeah. always good um but also growing up i feel like i liked um ben and jerry's cherry garcia the, i love that yes. one yes i feel like i haven't had what's it in a the while. banana one with the monkey like oh, monkey. Chunky monkey. yeah i like yeah. chunky monkey a lot i will go to ice cream stores uh and try flavors like for research and stuff mm-hmm. i used to go to a lot of them but um also thrifties like thrifties that just brings me back to my childhood you know like mint chip chocolate malted crunch like cheap ice cream can be good you know i love thrifties i grew up but like (laughs) you know what you're getting yeah black cherry and the pina colada one or whatever that one was yeah and those are my two favorites yeah so like i'll make flavors that like remind me of these flavors Mm -hmm. um but yeah yeah that's awesome it's a good one what about other like uh, pop ups? Mm. Do you know any like ones that um, are doing ice cream or gelato? There's a few here and there. Um, I haven't tried them because mm-hmm. we just like haven't crossed paths. Yeah. Um, but I've met a couple of them and they're cool. They're doing their own thing. There's a few people doing like the choco tacos. There's a craze of that right now, you know. Um, but yeah. I'm supporting them from afar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what's your plan, like, moving forward with Cold Hearted? Yeah. Do you have any big things coming up that you're you looking know forward to or what you want to do in the summer future? Summer is coming up. So summer is going yeah. to be just a lot of pop-ups. Planning my summer out right now. I've been planning summer since March. Mm-hmm. been filling up our calendars. We book pretty, like, far out. Mm-hmm. Um Looking forward to the Hampshire's nice anniversary party last year. That was crazy. Uh, is there hints on where that's going to be? Um, yeah, there are hints. <laughs> there are hints. I don't know. I don't think can't, it's. I don't, I don't know if it's your say. place to announce that on, uh, you know, live. No, I. I. <laughs> even though some people think I'm the manager of Hampshire's nice, I am not. I'm just there to help cook. That's it. Just make um, burgers. I just make burgers. Um. And then expanding the locations of the freezers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would be nice to do that in every, like, little subsect of Long Beach. Yeah. Um, to be able to just, like, do a little bit less pop-ups and, you know, curate them to do bigger events. Nice. Yeah. Um, do you, like, have any plans to work in a restaurant again? Well, I kind of work in one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I work one day yeah. with you yeah. uh, at a restaurant on Mondays, mm-hmm. yes, but plans to go back? Not really right now. I'm very open-minded yeah. to like what will happen. I'm not the type of person who has like a five-year plan um, just because all the five-year plans I created have come crumbling down <laughs> and everything just changes all the time. Yeah. So I have like small goals of what I want to achieve, but I have no plans on stopping cold-hearted at all. Yeah. I feel like um, 
I don't really have any plans either. It's just like if I work hard towards a goal yeah. or like what I'm doing in the moment, exactly. then things will like fall in place for me if I keep working hard to this yeah. in what I'm doing. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm just like showing love, like exactly. passion and the things you do and then like yeah. things will fall into place That's naturally. Why it, like has been my goal just to, yeah, work with my friends, like do pop-ups with my friends, mm -hmm. work alongside them. Uh, continue the pop-up like just try to do more of what makes me happy mm -hmm. on the daily instead of like just killing myself in these kitchens yeah for yeah. what yeah breaking your for body a paycheck <laughs> you know what I mean like I've learned a lot of just yeah making sure I'm doing things that are mm -hmm. important to me um do you have any pop-ups coming up yes I do the next one is not in Long Beach uh, it's Ooh. in LA. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm venturing out. I'm doing uh, the anniversary party for Yellow Paper Burgers. Cool. They asked me. I mean, if I look at my calendar right now, I could tell you all the pop ups. <laughs> I think I'm going to be at Vita Plant Shop the next week. Um, with Wine by Sip, too. With Yay. Wine by Sip, yes. We'll Everyone's be, just collaborating. Yeah, with we'll each be other. doing probably <laughs> uh, wine floats. People love the cool. wine floats. Yeah, those some are tasty. Type of Zorbe. Uh, there's so many. You can. Look at the Instagram, mm -hmm. and you can see follow Cold Hearted on Instagram. Yes. Oh yeah, I forgot to <laughs> ask you, how did you come up with Cold Hearted? Like are you just name? like a yeah? Okay. Are you just like a cold hearted bitch? Yeah, or something? yeah, like, that's what everyone says, <laughs> right? Okay, so I told you You're that so mean. I'm I'm the worst. <laughs> everyone who knows me knows I'm super cold hearted. <laughs> now a lot of people are like, this is a joke, right? Because you're really nice, and I'm like, yeah, it's kind of. You a don't know words. me really yet. Yeah, you don't know me. <laughs> um. No, the name was what was holding me back. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't have a name. I started within two weeks, right? Yeah. So someone, a friend, had been throwing out names. I didn't even like the name Cold Hearted at first. <laughs> but I called my sister, I called my best friend, and, like, told them. And they were like, this is perfect for you. And I was like, rude? Like, <laughs> what? And they were like, no, like, I feel like it's, like, edgy enough, but it's, like, it fits the yeah. brand, whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever. But now it's like grown on me. I like it. Um, pretty much like, not to get too sappy, but like I've had my heart broken a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was jaded for a while. Still trying not to be jaded. Yeah. But um, this is kind of like my love letter to the world. Like putting something sweet out mm -hmm. for people to enjoy, even though like life can be hard. Yeah. You know? But I'm not cold hearted. Yeah. All the time. That's sweet. <laughs> Meg is sweet, guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was uh, great to have you here. Thanks um, for having me. I've been looking yeah, forward to it. Yeah, it's a pleasure.